Hey everyone, welcome to another video here on O Night 112. This is TJ, and today we are going to learn how to paint Dark Angel's armor. So, uh, the first thing is first, you can see I've already primed the model here with Chaos Black Primer, and we're about to get started. Uh, the main color we're going to use here is going to be Caliban Green. So, uh, best thing about painting is I'm going to get a little bit on my base coat brush here. I've got a wet palette over here off to the side, and I will be uh, using that wet palette to uh, wet down the paint, everything like that, and you'll just work it around. Just basically, we are going to paint the entire Dark Angel here, Caliban Green. So I will just continue to work my way throughout it here, just uh, getting all the ends, nooks, and crannies, everything like that, just kind of working my way around. Uh, flip and turn in the model doing whatever you need to do but you know basically we're going to get that nice good uh, first good coat here on and uh, it's going to be a little watery it's not going to fully cover but that is fine uh, really what we want to do is we just want to put paint on it uh, so after this after we get the first coat done we will then apply a second coat so let's see what that's going to end up looking like so that first coat is now dry. It's, as you can tell, we're back to Caliban Green. Uh, and as you can tell on the model, it is not quite up to par. You can tell there's some blotchy spots. Uh, that first coat didn't quite cover well enough. So guess what? We're gonna put a second coat on it. Uh, that's just what you gotta do. Uh, unfortunately, you know, when you are base coating, sometimes you do have to get a second coat. So I've got my, drip, uh, my base coat brush out here again. And we're just starting off with that second coat, just going over the whole model, getting in those nooks and recesses, getting in, getting those areas, and you know, just doing a nice, good second layer. Uh, that second layer is uh, really key to when you're painting uh, dark angels or any kind of dark armor. Uh, you know, painting red, you're painting any kind of color, but you know, just putting that second coat on there just really fills in all those gaps. You know, and uh, really makes the model look really good. And so this is definitely going to step us up uh, for our next step when uh, we are going to move on to uh, using a little washes. Uh, washes are key and a very essential thing to painting models very quickly, quickly and rapidly. But here we are again, once again, just putting on that second coat. You know what? It, it's better to do a second coat after your first coat than it is to put on a very thick first coat. Uh, those thick coats just, you know, with these, with these, uh, acrylic paints, just not the key to doing it. Just go ahead and put on that first coat, let it dry, put on that second coat, and then you're as good as done. So as you can see here, I've got that second coat on, uh, I've definitely put some other colors on here. I painted the gun up, I've done all the metal pieces, and this is really to get me prepped for the next stage when I paint Dark Angel's armor. And that is uh, to use null and oil. And what I like to do this is I get it on the brush, get a good layer on there. And what what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically work around this none oil, this null and oil, on the entire model. Uh, I'm going to make sure it doesn't pull. So I'll take some big strokes here. I'll pull some off, move it to other positions on the model. But all the all the pieces on the model right now in this dark angel is basically all stuff that i want to darken it up and i want to give it a nice good shade i want that null and oil to sit in set in uh to the cracks and the nooks and all the other stuff so so it'll uh, give it a nice depth when we actually finish painting the model uh as you can tell uh that's what i'll be doing on this entire thing i will be painting the entire model null and oil getting it over there uh, does a great job on uh, as you can see on lead belcher as well as corn uh, red you know uh, it really darkens it up a lot it gets the it gets in the nooks it gets in the crannies I mean what can you say about GW this is probably one of their best paints uh, that I think everyone and their mom has tried at least 15 or 16 times but Nolan oil and as you can tell, flip the model around, move it around. I just want to get the entire model covered up here with null and oil. Using it directly out of the pot, it's going to sit really nice, especially inside uh, inside those nooks and crannies, just like we want it. It's actually going to darken up that Caliban green. And what we want the Caliban green to do is we want it to be darker in places, 
especially in those nooks and crannies and, and at least on the model too, because it'll help make in the, our next step uh, even easier to get done. We are now on to the longest and most difficult part, I think, of painting uh, the Dark Angels the way I do. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get some Caliban green out. Uh, you can definitely tell the model now is very dark, uh, that uh, Nolan oil just really made it dark. And what we're going to do is I've got a pretty good, not a fine detail brush, but a pretty uh, good brush, got a good point on it. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to go over the entire model. And what I'm going to do is, what I want to do is I want to hit the upper edges. I don't, I want to hit the upper plates. I don't want to get inside the recesses because that's where that Nullin oil has nicely set. So what I'm going to do is, as you know, I don't know how to say it, but uh, if you kind of watch what I'm doing right here. What I'm doing is I'm just getting the inside kind of working out to the outside edge. I am not really actually getting all the way to the actual edge of the the, the, the pauldrons and everything. I am just trying to get just the raised areas on the armor. So I will be going over the entire model uh, shoulder pads, every single bit and piece of this model, trying to just get the top just trying to get the other pieces so just trying to get the top layers so i can leave those bottom layers really dark and what that's going to do is it's going to give you a nice good contrast you're going to look at it and you're going to see the dark and then above it the plates that are higher you'll see the raised and that'll all bring us to the final step which is of course the line highlighting uh you know line highlighting is always fun and everything like this now i'm not going to lie to you uh, i have been painting for quite some time uh, this is this is a harder technique. I like the way it looks. Uh, that's the reason why I'm trying to show y'all how I do this. It's going to take time. It's going to take a little effort, but I, I I really feel that at the end of the day, I get a nice, good, clean coat, and it looks really, really sharp to me. Uh, some people uh, will do it op. What they'll do with the null and oils, they'll just kind of get in the recesses, at recess areas, and then they'll let it spill over. Then they'll go over and cover it up. This way, uh, for me, it's just uh, kind of what I like to do. Uh, but you know, as you can tell, that I'm just hitting those upper plates, uh, not getting too close to those uh, recessed areas, especially like in the legs, the pauldrons, uh, everything like that. I'm just trying to make sure I give, I, I maintain that depth that you want to have for, you know, the nooks and crannies of the armor and, you know, so it looks like it's building up. You can see that layer where it's very dark and then it comes up and then it's going to lead us to our final step, which will be next, which is basically the uh, one simple uh, line highlight, I think is all I do on my Dark Angels. Uh, this is for my troops. And so for the troops, you know, I'm going to make them pretty basic, but, you know, this is what I do. And, you know, you can kind of watch me doing it over the entire model. Uh, comes out really good at the end. And so, uh, well, let's see here. Uh, that's going to be it for this section. Uh, hopefully that helps. Hopefully I'll get in the basic idea of how I'm doing this. And then uh, we'll move on to the line highlighting. Well, we are on to the last step. And as you can tell, that's a very old bottle of Citadel paint. It is Warp Storm Glow. I've moved down to a little bit of a finer edge brush that's got a really good tip on it. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start off with line highlighting. And so using my wet palette, I uh, got the paint pretty wet here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the edge of my brush on the upper outside edges of the model. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over the entire model. We're going to go over all those outside edges uh, that we can go. Uh, as you can tell, you will flip your model around this way, that way. That's why it's very important to have a painting handle. Uh, for me, this is very complicated to do without a painting handle. And so what we'll do is you'll see here, I'll just try to get the edges of it. Uh, sometimes I'll use the tip of my brush. Sometimes I'll use the very edge, just depending on where I'm painting. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to go over the entire model uh, with, with Warp Strong Glow. And I'm just going to head on all the edges. Uh, what I really want to do is I want to get every single bit and piece uh, of those outside edges with warp stone glow on it. Here's the most important part when y'all are doing this and the one thing you want to remember. Line highlighting takes time. It does take patience. Don't get frustrated. 
Because guess what we can always do, which is actually the final step that I'll show y'all. The final step is cleanup. Uh, cleanup is an amazing thing. So if you get a little bit too much on there, you get a little bit too much on the edge, and it looks like, oh my gosh, it, you know, you're trying to get that little edge, and you get a little bit too much on, and it's not making a straight line, and it you know wavers out, and it looks like a big circle, that's fine. Because we're going to go back over with Caliban Green later on in the next step. I'll show you how to do that. And we'll continue to do that. Now, the other thing to remember when y'all are line highlighting is use don't use the tip of your brush. As you can tell, sometimes I do resort to the tip, but that's just for little small sections. What you want to do is use the edge of your brush. That edge, when you get it at when you put it on the right angle on the edge of like a, a shoulder pad, a helmet, or something like that, it perfectly just picks up the line, which is what you want it to do. So uh, just remember that when y'all are doing line highlighting. So here we are. We are on to the final step, and that's to basically cover up all our mess ups. So as you can tell, when I pick up the bottle, uh, some of the line highlights, are, they don't look right. Uh, you can tell on the hand, the head, uh, the chest piece, just all different places on that model, you can tell that I messed up, especially here on the head. I got way too much paint on it. It spilt over in the middle, so what am I, what am I going to do? I'm just going to go over the model, and I'm going to, uh, and I am going to put Caliban Green back on it to get it back to that color that it was before, and I'll straighten up the lines. I'll do it on the hands. I'll do it all over the feet. I'll do it pretty much on anything. Uh, just to make sure that the line highlights look as best as I can get them. We're not professional painters. We're learning. And that's the best thing about this hobby is that you will be able to improve dramatically. The more you practice on a model, the, the first time you do it, it's not going to look good. The second time you do it, it'll look better. And the third time you'll do it, it'll look better. So that's my biggest thing here is you can always go over and you can correct your mistakes, especially when you do line highlighting. So the, so the one thing I want to tell you all is that uh, practice makes perfect. Don't give up. Keep trying. Keep putting paint on that model, and it'll work for you. So other than that, you know, here it is. Here's me covering up my mess-ups, and that's what painting is all it's about. It's about putting paint on it, messing up, and just coming back and fixing it later because, hey, we all mess up, but it's still fun. Well, here they are, my finished Dark Angels. I've done the best I can. Uh, I really enjoyed painting these. I hope you did too, uh, watching this and kind of learning how to paint uh, Dark Angels armor. Uh, it's fun. As you can tell in these pictures, there are parts where I messed up on my line highlighting. And I am fine with that, and you should be too. Uh, just go put some paint on it, and uh, just keep on learning. Keep on having fun in this hobby, and... Uh, and I'll see y'all next episode. And don't forget to subscribe. And uh, y'all have a great and wonderful day, night, whatever. Uh, be safe out there. And I'll talk to y'all later.